what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video primarily here today going over uh nev campbell her recent comments that she reportedly made out at texas frightmare this past weekend or some recent texas frightmare event that happened before i get into that though i'm going to talk about the jason universe because i never talked about it on my channel ign last week reported that a jason universe is in full effect i guess IGN can exclusively report that Horror Inc. is expanding the Friday the 13th franchise into a new era with the launch of Jason Universe. New Friday the 13th activations will span a wide range of platforms from entertainment, games, immersive experiences, merchandise, and more to be announced throughout 2024 via at Jason Universe 13 on social media or by visiting the official Jason Universe website. For decades, Jason shocked and thrilled audiences who kept coming back for more. We're excited to work with Victor Miller and Mark Tobaroff on new projects will announce in the coming months, said Robert Barsamian, president of Horror Inc., in a statement provided to IGN. Now, this here, honestly, well, before I even get my thoughts, the VP also said this. He said, We're focused on honoring the legacy while elevating the fan experience and appealing to today's horror audiences as we develop new ways to watch, interact, and engage with the Jason universe. With the unique ability to remain at the forefront of pop culture for 44 years, Jason continues to top charts as one of the scariest villains of all time with strong global awareness across multiple generations thanks to billions of TikTok views plus millions and millions of gamers and movie fans. Now, that came from Sherry Khan, who is a global GM of Horror Inc. We cannot wait to introduce new Jason Universe activations to these amazing fans. What the hell are activations? All people took away from this, because I saw it all throughout social media for the past week. That has nothing to do with what people really want. And when I say people, I'm not talking about the vast majority. The vast majority of people, again, they don't care. I'm talking about the people in the know who are obsessed with Friday the 13th. The fans that are actually interested in this IP... Most of them, I would argue, want a new movie. They don't give a rat's ass about any of this. Yes, it's entertaining. It can keep you occupied if you're someone who's open to it. But what people have been clamoring for the last decade at this point is for Jason to just get his ass back on the big screen. This sounded entertaining, but then once you started or sounded sounded interesting but then once you start reading into it it's like it's stuff i don't give a fuck about i i feel like i would be more into this stuff if i was a kid i'm not i'm not into it yes i'll play the new friday the 13th game but all i really would get more excited about right now is a new friday the 13th game i could give a rat's ass about all this stuff about activations deactivations i don't care you guys probably don't care either <laughs> those are my thoughts on the jason universe hopefully it works out for them but again as i also put out in my last video this has nothing to do with a movie because Sean Cunningham reportedly doesn't believe that we are going to get a new movie for the next two or three years because New Line allegedly has some hesitancy to, to pour any money into something that might not even make a return investment. But uh, whatever. Let's get into Scream 7. So Nev Campbell out at Texas Frightmare had some interesting comments that she made taking credit for getting ne or getting Kevin Williamson on board to direct which might be lending itself to the rumor I told you guys I had heard about in which her and Courtney Cox are attached to executive produce we haven't gotten it confirmed but little bits and pieces like that lead me to further think that we are closer to getting confirmation that Nev Campbell will be executive producing along with Courtney Cox now she said that they had some type of sweet phone call when she reached out to him had some sort of sentimental moment and he agreed to do it i had imagined this call was made after they had exhausted all their efforts to acquire someone who had a better resume than kevin williamson since he has not directed quite a lot now the other thing she said that was very interesting was talking about the screenplay and this was posted by you alex underscore eight seven nine three on instagram in this video she said this about them pitching it to her and where they ended up with the screenplay. She said they had to obviously pitch me the film and hear whether I wanted to do it before they wrote it. So I know what it is and it's going to be great. Now, here's the thing. As excited as Nev is to be back in Scream 7 and she trusted it will be great because of her involvement with the writing process, it seems, that does not mean that the movie actually will be great. They could cook up a very stellar screenplay and then have a bunch go wrong when it's finally time to hit cameras. Do I want that? No, I really don't. Despite all the controversy surrounding it, I do not want a bad Scream 7 movie. I do not want a bad outing for Sidney Prescott. Just because Sidney Prescott, let's argue for the sake of argument, just because Sidney Prescott is given what I want, which is a meaningful story, strong usage, and purpose, if you get Sidney right, that's just one piece to the pie. 
you getting Sidney Wright and getting everything else, everything else wrong is not going to be a good screen movie. I'm just going to give you a pat on the back for getting Sidney Wright. It's also going to look very unbalanced if all if the only thing that's great about the movie is what you did with Sidney. Meanwhile, everything else around her is on life support and in serious need of a doctor. That's not going to be a great screen movie. So I trust that what she's saying is something to hold on to as something meaningful and not just her talking out of her ass because I trust that she knows what it takes to produce a quality story for Sidney Prescott. She plays the damn character. My issue is this. There's no telling again what could happen between this great screenplay they've allegedly wrote up and what happens when it's now time to shoot it. The amount of interference that could come. Hopefully there's none. The amount of rewrites, reshoots, so many things that are still up in up in the air until they actually shoot the movie, get everything locked, and have the film just ready to release. So I hope the movie is something good. I, again, do not want a bad screen movie. I want a movie of quality. Uh, I wish it was under better circumstances, but I still do not want a bad screen movie. I just do not want to be someone who has to come on here and give a bad review to my favorite horror franchise. Because at the end of the day, I want what's best for the IP. I think what's best for the IP is different from what some others think is best for the IP. I know 100% what we all can agree on is that what's best for Sidney Prescott is a quality story. And yes, Nev Campbell might know that that's what they have planned, but it might not come out like that. That's the thing that I will always have in the back of my head, just so that way I'm not setting myself up to be so excited for something. And then it's crapola, trash, shit. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Scream 7? Why or why not? What do you think about that Jason Universe crap? I mean, honestly, when it comes to Scream 7, with the lack of announcements surrounding it, um, we're probably not even going to find out anything concrete until mid-July, I would predict. We'd be lucky to find out anything in June. I mean, they really have no reason to tell us anything if you're not going to start shooting until the fall no reason to tell us anything and the other thing you have to consider is they're probably not going to tell us a lot because of the online backlash they're afraid to receive and when i say afraid to receive i'm mostly considering the fact that yes you guys have to remember you're fine to be upset with whoever you want to be upset with for signing on to the project but you have to keep in mind you being upset is different than someone else deciding that that's a right to then go commit criminal activity against those who are signing on there are in fact people out there who are trying to take it a step further and I wouldn't blame Spyglass for trying to protect their cast and crew. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification in the MS video. In the description, I have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.